Hello, Storytime friends. How are you today? Good. Well, should we start with our hello song? Let's do it. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. It's good to be with you at story time. It's so great that you join me again here today. Now that the weather is getting nicer and the birds are chirping, and did anyone see any bees buzzing yet? I haven't seen any yet, it might still be a bit cold. But as it continues to get warm, I can't wait to plant my garden. So I got some little pots. I'm gonna put some soil in and start some of my garden seeds. Do you like to garden? Yeah? What do you like to garden? Do you like to plant vegetables? Yeah? What about flowers? Some pretty flowers? Bring some color into the yard. I love that too. Well, did you bring your magic fingers with you today? Let me see them. Wiggle them. Give me all your magic. Let's count to three. Are you ready? One, two, three, poof! Let's see what's in the magic book bag today. Oh, there's a good one. This one's called Green Green, a community gardening story. Let's read it. Green Green, a community gardening story. Written by Marie and Baldev Lamba. Pictures by Sonia Sanchez. Green, green, fresh and clean. Brown, brown, dig the ground. Rakes, scrape, seeds in rows. Tamp and water, the garden grows. Brown, brown, dig the ground. Look at that big digger in the background. Dozers lift, concrete flows. Stone and metal, the city grows. And grows. Look at all those city lights. Green, green, in between. Look at all those little green plants in between the different apartments. That's pretty neat. Squirrel gray, pigeon blue, weeds and wildflowers. Litter, too. Brown, brown, dig the ground? Yes, brown, brown, dig the ground. Lift and clear, shovel rows. Working together, our garden grows. And grows. And grows. Look at all those beautiful flowers, all the different colors. I love it. Green, green, keep it clean. That's such a neat story. You can come and check it out from our library. Give us a call and we can check that out for you. In the back, it has some really neat information on how to make your world more green. And they also have a section about bees and butterflies and how they need our help and also how to make a bee or butterfly decoration. So that's pretty neat. Well, let's try to make this butterfly in the book we just talked about. This says you need a clothespin, some waterproof markers or paint, pipe cleaner. This one says a plastic shopping bag and scissors, which you can use. I've chosen to use Kleenex instead, so I don't need to cut it out. Plus I like the way it looks with the markers. The markers kind of spread and it's what I have. So use what you have. I also bought some little googly eyes. So what we're going to do is decorate both sides. So it will be on both sides of your Kleenex paper towel, whatever you want to use, your plastic bag cut into a square. I'm going to draw some hearts. Maybe just some, some squiggly colors. So that's pretty blue, purple, and pink. There's my purple here. I'm going to do maybe some, just 
some squigglies. You can really use your imagination, make it as colorful as you like. Next, you can draw your eyes on your clothespin, or you can glue them on like I'm going to use googly eyes. So I'm going to just glue that on. One, two, oh, I think these might be too big. Oh, there, we'll make it fit. Cute. There we go. Next, clamp the decorated square with the clothespin. So I'm going to pinch the middle and use my clothespin to pinch the lee or the wings. Oh, my eyes coming off. <laughs> there we go. And next, we're going to curl the top tips of your pipe cleaner to make the antenna. And also, you can clamp them right in there. <laughs> there you have it. There's our butterfly. <laughs> you can cut these to make them shorter if you want. I'm just going to maybe do this with mine. Curl it. There. There's my beautiful butterfly. I hope you had fun with that craft. Happy spring, everyone. Well, do you think we have time for one more story? I sure hope so. I love reading stories with you all. Can you give me some more magic? We're gonna count to three. Ready? One. Two, three, oof! Let's see if there's one more inside our magic book bag. There it is. Oh, look at this one. It's up in the garden and down in the dirt. I can't read it. I can't wait to read it with you guys. Look, there's a little earthworm on the front, a robin, some flowers, a butterfly. There's a bee. Bees are so important. They help pollinate our fruit and vegetables. Let's read it. Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt by Kate Messner with art by Christopher Silas Neal. And this one's published by Chronicle Books. Up in the garden, I stand and plan, my hands full of seeds and my head full of dreams. Spring sun shines down to melt the sleepy snow. Wind whistles through last year's plants and mud sucks at my rain boots. It's not quite time, Nana says. Down in the dirt, things need to dry out and warm up. What's down there, I ask. Down in the dirt is a whole busy world of earthworms and insects, digging and building and stirring up soil. They're already working down in the dirt. Up in the garden, we snap brittle stalks, scoop rustly armfuls, and wheel away weeds for the chickens. While they squabble and scratch, we spread compost over the soil. Down in the dirt, pill bugs chew through last year's leaves. I give a gentle poke. They roll up tight and hide in plated suits of armor, roly-poly round. Up in the garden, it's time to plant. I trail a furrow with my finger and sprinkle seeds in a careful row. Give them a drink, Nana says. We pat them down to snuggle in the dark. Down in the dirt, a tomato hornworm rests, waiting for wings and the leaves where she'll lay her eggs. Up in the garden, carrot plants sprout. Pea blossoms bloom, wasps are on the prowl, and honeybees visit, legs loaded with pollen. I weed and wilt in sun so strong, even Nana looks for shade. Down in the dirt, earthworms tunnel deep. 
I'm jealous of their cool, damp, dark. Up in the garden, rain shower! Nana turns the hose on me. Eee! I hide behind the cucumber vines, but their leaves can't save me. I shiver and laugh, drenched in Nana's rain. Down in the dirt, water soaks deep. Roots drink it in, and a long-legged spider stilt walks over the streams. Up in the garden, there's so much to eat. Ladybugs feast on aphids. Nana crunches green beans. I bite a ripe tomato, warm from the sun. Juice dribbles down my chin. Down in the dirt, a robin's beak finds a cricket, a beetle, a grub. Slugs are scrumptious too. Up in the garden, we pick cukes and zucchini, harvesting into the dark. Bats swoop through the sunflowers, and I pluck June bugs from the basil until it's time for bed. Down in the dirt, skunks work the night shift. They snuffle and dig and gobble cutworms while I sleep. Up in the garden, a praying mantis wakes to hunt mosquitoes. Nana sprays away the aphids, and I'm after grasshoppers, ready to swoosh, but... Snap! Someone else is faster. Down in the dirt, a smooth, shining garter snake crunches on his supper. Up in the garden, the wind grows cool. Pumpkins blush orange and sunflowers bow to September. Nana ties them together to build a house for reading. Down in the dirt, an orb weaver spins her web. Strand by silken strand, she'll munch on moths tonight. Up in the garden, colored leaves litter the squash vines. And we know the cold is coming. Hurry, hurry, and harvest. There's enough for the neighbors, too. Down in the dirt, frantic ants gather what we leave behind. They're storing food for the cooler days ahead. Up in the garden, frost draws lace on leftover leaves, where secret egg sacs hang, waiting for the warm to return. We say goodbye and spread the winter blankets. Down in the dirt, beetles burrow. Ants scurry home. Earthworms curl tight in the dark. When Grandpa calls us in for soup, an autumn moon is rising. Up in the garden, dry corn stalks tremble, and the wind smells like winter. But the long, ripe days of summer still rest in the garden beds. The ladybugs and bumblebees, earthworms and ants are hunkered down, hiding, biding their time. Dreaming of sunshine and blossoms and sprouts. Under the bare arms of trees and the blanketing snow, a whole new garden sleeps down in the dirt. In the back of this book, the author writes a note uh, more about community gardens, further reading recommendations, also a whole section about animals and what they do to your garden and how they can help. So this book is amazing, worth checking out. Call us at the library and we will hook you up. Well, it's time to say our goodbye songs. Show me your hands. Put them behind your back. Where is my thumb? Where is my thumb? Here I am. Here I am. Did you have a good time? Yes, I had a good time. Time to go hide away. Where is my hand? Where is my hand? Here I am. Here I am. It's time to wave goodbye now. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye now. But we'll see you next time at story time. And I hope you'll all join me again next week. Stay safe. Take care, everyone.